What is up, YouTube fam? It is October something. Fifth, I don't know. <laughs> it's October. Sunday, meal prep, but I want to talk to you guys. So we have pushed back our contest till March, so I am now doing a six to eight week um, bulk cycle. So what my macros look like are as follows. We're about 3,900 calories, 475 carb, 116 fat, and 240 protein, not counting vegetables. So what I'm going to show you guys in this video is how to, quote unquote, bulk on a budget. So we're going to go to the grocery store and get everything I need to eat that every day for the week. And here we go. It was literally 95 degrees and sunny as hell two days ago. And now it's like sprinkling. I love it. And it's freezing. And you guys might notice I'm in a different shirt. That's because Brie made me change. Okay, he was wearing a tank top, sweatpants, a beanie, and flip flops. Like, I'm still rocking the flip flops though. Ain't no weather gonna dictate my clothing choices. <laughs> Tip one, always get the biggest eggs. It's the best bang for your buck. What good really is looking that good and lifting all these heavy weights if you smell bad? You know what I mean? Not on the typical bulking shopping list, but today it is for me. Where's my deodorant at? Preferred water intake, one gallon per day. Yeah, here's the ones. Just get two big old slabs. Take us through your picking process. It's just my way. We always go for foster farms. Go meat! Full carton it. <laughs> Gotta get those veggies in. Two for four bucks. Okay, just finished. Sorry I didn't film too much. There was a lot of people and I don't really like breaking out my camera in a store when there's that many people there. So uh, I did the best I could. I'll show you the rest when we get back to my house and Breeze. But So my total was $111.20, but I don't eat that many eggs a week. So me and Breeze split eggs. Um, so we can, where's my eggs at? Like $19. Yeah, okay, so the eggs are about 20 bucks. So you figure I can take $10 off that. And then, so we'll subtract 10. So we're at 101. And then I also don't need my deodorant to bulk, which was $8. So we'll subtract $8 from there. And we have $93.20 that I spent on my actual bulking groceries divided by seven days a week. I'm spending $13.31 a day to eat 4,000 calories a day. So, that's awesome. When you think about it, that's really freaking cheap. If you think about it in the context of when you go out to eat at a restaurant, you usually spend $15 minimum on food for one meal. All my macro requirements for my bulk are hit for $13 a day. I mean, can't go wrong. So, couple bargains. $3 a meal. We got whole wheat pasta for $1.50 a container or a box. I needed four boxes, so my whole, about four pounds of pasta this week cost me six dollars. Uh, my brown rice, which I'm eating three cups a day on this bulk, it cost me, oh you know what, also on this we could probably take another four dollars off because you don't technically need Walden Farm syrup. I've, I've been eating my waffles without syrup for a couple days. It's not terrible but Walden Farms is so much better. Um, 
But yeah, just if you want to find places to cut, you could cut out the Walden Farms and save an extra four bucks. Uh, kale, two for four. Top sirloin was on sale, four ninety nine a pound. I always get my turkey patties, chicken. Like I said, my brown rice. Don't be a lazy son of a gun and buy the pre-made packs because they cost a lot more. I do. I've been doing it when I was cutting because I wasn't eating as many calories. But get the box and just cook all your rice at once. It's so much cheaper. Get off your lazy butt and do it. And I'm going to show you how we do it. Or have your girlfriend do it because that's probably what he's going to be doing. <laughs> okay, meal prep starts now. Chicken, steak, tilapia, steak, turkey patties, oh, rice, <laughs> whole grain pasta, no, sweet potatoes, cat, dog, brie. Once your chicken is all placed in your bag, we're going to use just a little bit of Cajun marinade to add a little bit of flavor. Not too much. <laughs> Don't want to get too much on there. <laughs> That's probably good. And then, I'm just going <clears> to... <throat> and then you just... Uh, Massage. Peel up the bag until there's marinade all over the chickens. We'll let this sit for like... 30 minutes. 30 minutes, yeah, and then go hit it up on the barbecue. And then right after I do this, I'm gonna drink all of these. <laughs> <laughs> Try to pasta harder than me. That whole entire pot is full. It's a big old pot. All right, so now I have my food scale set to ounces, zeroed out with a Tupperware on top, and I'm scooping eight ounces of pasta into each container. Close, cheese. look how much this is steaming. Look how much pasta that is. So here's all my pasta for the week, yeah. and I think it's safe to say that I dramatically overestimated how much pasta I needed. So I think what I'm going to do is freeze all this and use it for next week. So take another, what, $3 off of your grocery list, and we're down to like 90, less than 90 bucks. Okay, Bree's finishing up her tilapia right now. Bomb diggity. One filet a day. Now, I gotta hit 21 cups of rice a week, right? I'm doing three cups a day. One with my chicken and, or I mean, sorry, a cup with my steak and then two cups with my turkey patties. So I got my first batch of brown rice brewed here. Got my cupper. Don't know how much this is gonna be. What do we do, two boxes? Um, a box and a half. We did a box and a half of that, so we're going to see how much this makes. Holy rice. Two cups yeah, in each one. Yeah, so this is my two cups of brown rice per container right now. And, yeah, so I think I, I, think I made enough to have another seven cups for my single ones with my steak. But I honestly just don't know how I'm going to fit my turkey patties in here. I think I tried to flatten them out, so maybe I could just set them on top or cut them up, maybe. But uh, yeah, we'll have to see how that one goes. But hey, what are you gonna do? Time for my single cups. Okay, so here's the deal. I am taking my turkey patties off the barbecue right now, and then I'm gonna add the chicken on. We've reached our 30 minute mark for the marinade. Yes, all that we've done already has only been 30 minutes. So we prepped all the pasta, all the rice, uh, breeze tilapia, strawberries, vegetables. What else? Breeze making pumpkin spice cookies at the moment. That's right, because we're bad people. 
pumpkin spice cookies. So all that in less than half an hour, just about a half hour. And the only thing left to do now is barbecue. And I'm already done with the turkey patties. So the chicken will take about 12 minutes. Six on each, six minutes on each side is what we do. All that. And then the steak, it's like seven minutes on each side and then we'll be done. So 12, 14, so we got maybe an hour's worth of meal prep for $13 a day for a whole week to eat 4,000 calories for a nice clean bulk. 500 grams of carbs, about 115 fat, and about 240 protein. Not counting vegetables in those macros, so don't really think you can beat that. I'll show you guys the finished product once we're done. Oh. I made the most delicious cookies ever. I'm just no shame. Uh, take one of those right there. Ow. They're pumpkin spice. Oh my god. So good. Totally just taking up the meaning of meal prep right now. And meal prepping is officially done. Two, two stacks of three back there. So we've got our whole wheat chicken pasta, our two cups of rice with two turkey patties. Seven, seven. Our cup of rice and steak. Then we move over to Bree's stuff, tilapias, chicken and sweet potatoes, veggies, strawberries. This concludes the prep por portion of our bulk. Everything else like the eggs and the, the waffles. What else is there? Protein shake, and then other veggies oatmeal. We cook like yeah, veggies we cook fresh every more every day with the meals. And like oatmeal and stuff like that we don't pre-prep. So that's it. That's bulking on a budget. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe to really help my channel grow. And if you haven't followed me or Self Made on social medias yet, make sure you get on that. The links are in the description box below. And I will catch you guys in the next one.